Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Cash App and more specifically, we're talking about how to reset your Cash App pin number. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Cash App, it is one of the most popular peer-to-peer -peer cash transfer systems. Many folks will use this to split bills at a restaurant or to buy items or just sending family and friends money. So it's a pretty convenient app to have. It's this green and white one right here. If you don't have the app already, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. From time to time, they run a promotion where if you sign up with my link, you get $5 and I get $5 as long as you make a minimum $5 transaction or transfer through the app. Or you can easily go to the App Store or Google Play and download it. It's called Cash App. But let me go ahead and open my app now. All right, I went ahead and opened up the app and this is the home screen. So here you can request money, pay money and do various other things with your Cash App. But we're not gonna worry about that. What we're talking about is how to change or reset your PIN number. So how do you do that? Well, first off, the PIN number is usually set up to either access your Cash App or to withdraw money at the ATM. But what if you forgot your Cash App PIN number? Well, that's pretty easy. What you wanna do is go ahead and open up your app and if you've registered your thumbprint like I have through Cash App, then you'll get access into your Cash App. And what you wanna do is click on this little icon up here on the top right. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, then you wanna go ahead and scroll down to where it says privacy and security. This is where you can change your pin number. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next, what you wanna do is go ahead and click change cash pin. That is located in the security tile right here. So I'm gonna click there now. All right, next, what you wanna do is go ahead and use your thumbprint if you've registered that with Cash App. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that now. All right, so as long as you have your thumbprint registered, then you can go ahead and change the pin number to a new four digit number. So that's pretty easy. Just use these right here. I'm not going to change my pin number because I don't have a need to do that. But what if you forgot your pin and you don't have your thumb registered? Well, that's pretty easy. Let me go ahead and go back a little bit. All right. So you want to follow the same steps and go here to change cash pin. I'm going to go ahead and click there now. All right. So I went ahead and clicked on there and then I'm going to use a different finger that's not registered and see what it says. All right. Next, I have the option to enter cash pin. So I'm going to click there now. All right, so now as you can see, now there's a new menu button right here, forgot cash pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there now. All right, so now here is how you can alter the pin number if you don't have your current code and your thumbprint is not registered with your phone. So I click that button and then what happens is it brought me here to this screen and it's letting me know that they sent me a text message from Cash App and that's an order to confirm who I am. So they will send a message to the phone associated with your Cash App. And then once that you receive that code, you want to go ahead and enter it in here. So let me switch on over to that text message now. All right, so here is my text message that I received from Cash App. It's saying that I have this code, and that's my sign-in code. Also, they're letting me know that no one representing Cash App will ever ask for this code over the phone, social media, or through any other medium. So do not give this code to anyone else because if you give them this code, then it is possible that they access your Cash App and they can basically clean you out. So do not share this code with anyone else. Let me click on over to my Cash App now. All right, so here I am back on my Cash App. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the code in now. All right, I went ahead and entered that code. I'm gonna go ahead and click Next. All right, next it's asking for the last four digits of my social security number in order to confirm who I am. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. All right, I went ahead and entered the last four of my social security number. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. All right, next it's asking me to enter a new cash pin and that is a backup for the touch ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. All right, I went ahead and entered the four digit code that I prefer. It's asking me to confirm my cash pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. All right, I went ahead and entered that in and it brought me to this screen and I received a text message confirmation from Cash App. Let me switch back over to that. All right, so I went ahead and switched over and this is the message that I just received from Cash App. It says that my cash pin has been reset and that was done without my thumbprint and without knowing the previous pin number. So that's how it's possible. Let me go ahead and switch back to Cash App now. All right, here I am back on Cash App. So that is how you can change your Cash App pin, even if you forgot your old pin and even if your Touch ID is not registered. Now, I did hear from another user that they were still having issues with resetting their Cash App pin. If so, they said that they had to go onto a laptop or desktop. 
in order to change that because that option that I saw when I registered an incorrect fingerprint did not pop up for them. So if you are not able to change your PIN number on the mobile app, try it on a desktop version or a laptop version because that may work better for you. And if you have any experience with that, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found this video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.